Hi guys, it's I, your Priestess of Weird, Maggie L. Ram. So I hope you are all having a really wonderful day so far. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, summer solstice and the full moon that is happening on June the 20th, this Monday. Uh, 2016, how it's going to be a really great time to work with that fire goddess within you, that really fiery energy that is within you. And so a lot of this month, a lot of June, um, I've been talking about self-empowerment and finding your strength, uh, even when that means finding your strength in your weaknesses or finding your strength in your shadows. If you Follow me on my website. I recently put out a blog post that is about how I found strength uh, within one of my own shadows. And I talked about, for me personally, a lot of my fire energy um, resides within a shadow of mine who comes out and uh, she's a real warrior, uh, bitch type energy. And she comes out to defend me whenever I feel I'm not being heard or if I need help uh, defending myself against people who I feel... Are trying to harm me and what I learned from working with her is that I can use her fire energy to come from a place of love and compassion and I can still harness all of that passion and strength that she has but I can utilize it in more of a helpful way in my life so, so I want to just kind of make that clear right now that whenever I'm talking about strength and uh, the sacred bitch, which is something that uh, Joanna DeVoe talks about in length, and I'll direct you to a blog post that she has about the sacred bitch archetype. When I'm talking about those, I'm not talking about, you know, knocking people out of your way. I'm talking about directing your energy and focusing it fully on what you want, but also coming from, um, you know, your heart center, from a place of love and compassion to others, while still holding up your boundaries and not letting people walk all over you. And so that does sound like a whole hell of a lot to kind of take in and to work with at one time. But right now, the cosmos are aligned to give you that strength and power that you need. So the summer solstice is Monday. And a lot of witches tend to celebrate this as the sun having its being at its ultimate strength and power. And that is true, but it also means that after the solstice, the sun is going to begin to wane and we're going to start to go into the darkest half of the year. It's really nice to focus on this gathering of strength and power, this gathering of fire energy that's going to hit its climax on the... 20th on Monday and everything is hot hot right now um, you're going to be feeling a lot of hot energy and that may manifest in different forms of like anger or hot-headedness for you right now and I know I know absolutely for me it does and you know if you read about Reiji Rhonda that's what she's all about is being kind of hot-headed just be aware of those patterns in your life that may be happening right now so that you don't fly off the handle, but you can use it in a more constructive way that's going to be more helpful to getting you where you need to go. We also have the full moon that is happening on Monday, the same night as the summer solstice. And I think that is just really magical. And what's cool is that the full moon is in Sagittarius. Again, I think this is the second time. I think um, our last full moon was also in Sagittarius. So this is kind of a retelling, you know, or a part two of what happened from the last full moon. So if you go back and kind of look with, at what energies you were feeling and what you were working with, this is going to be kind of a sequel to that. So you already, you've had a preview of what happened last month during the full moon. So you're going to have a really good idea of what you need to work on this time and what you learned between then and now. So like I said, Sagittarius is also a fire sign. So we're getting like double fires coming from both masculine and feminine sources, positive and negative, however you want to feel about them. Those two opposing energies are going to be embodying that fire energy. So that's like, that is why it's going to be a really good time 
to embrace that fire goddess that is inside of you, that warrior or bitch energy that is deep inside of you. Make sure that you acknowledge that she's there and that you're able to work with that fire energy. So the summer solstice and this full moon is going to be a really good time to uh, practice purification rituals. So if you read anything about summer solstice, um, one of the main themes that you'll see is like bonfires and what I've been talking about, you know, fire energy. A lot of times fire is used as a form of purification. So if something is no longer serving you, this is a good time to set that something on fire and purify it. And it may even be a good time for you to be purified in that fire energy and come out the other side a new person. You know, kind of like Game of Thrones, uh, Daenerys Targaryen, the uh, mother of dragons. She was reborn from the flames. Celebrate your strengths during this day on the summer solstice. And then the night of the full moon, that same night, you can focus on the areas of your life that need to be reassessed and reevaluated and learn how to funnel the strength into those areas. For those of you who are signed up for the newsletter, you are going to be receiving some extra love from me. And it's probably going to include something like a mini ritual for the full moon and summer solstice and or summer solstice. So keep an eye out for that in your inbox. I'll try to send it out um, hopefully by Friday. And that way, if, you know, not all of us, a lot of people work on Mondays during that time. So you may be celebrating uh, Sunday or uh, Saturday or Sunday. So I'll try and have that out early to you so that you can have it ahead of time. To everyone else, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Be fucking awesome and stay weird.